President Father James Burns, members of the clergy and religious, faculty, program directors, staff, administrators, spouses, partners, children, friends, and members of this graduating class. Good morning and welcome to the Twin Cities campus of St. Mary's University of Minnesota for this commencement convocation. Please be seated. My name is Brother Robert Smith, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Chief Academic Officer of the University and the Vice President of our Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs. And as such, I will serve as our Master of Ceremonies this morning. At this commencement convocation, we will be conferring bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the Graduate School of Health and Human Services. In the commencement ceremonies, this afternoon, we will be presenting candidates for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the Graduate School of Education, the Graduate School of Health and Human Services, and in the Graduate School of Business and Technology. We have commencement convocations six times each year. In addition to today's three ceremonies, we have commencement ceremonies in January and June here on our Twin Cities campus. On our Winona campus, we have commencement ceremonies in May. At our Nairobi, Kenya campus, we have commencement in April. And at our Mandeville, Jamaica campus, we have commencement each September. Those of you who are graduating today are part of a large and growing St. Mary's University of Minnesota global family. This is in part reflected by the international flags we have here in the front of the auditorium. They represent the nations of some of our students who have left their homelands to study with us. Today is indeed a joyous day. We celebrate a chapter in your life's journey, a chapter that has not only challenged you intellectually, but in every other way as well. Our university's holistic approach to higher education has provided you with the opportunity to develop many talents that I know you will share with others on your personal and professional journeys as a graduate of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. We have all looked forward to this day. Your family and friends, as well as the faculty, administration, and staff of the university rejoice with you on your great achievement. At this time, I ask all candidates for graduation, as well as members of the audience who are in active military service, members of the Reserves or National Guard, and veterans, to please stand as you are able so that we may recognize you for your service to our nation. I invite all who are able to please stand. Miss Elise Rivness will sing America the Beautiful. Yes. 
Thank you, Elise, and thank you, Becky Warnock, for accompanying. Please remain standing while Father James Notabart, our campus chaplain, offers the invocation. Father Notabart. Let us remember we are in the holy presence of God. O oh God, you are compassionate and merciful. It was you who formed us in your own image and gave us the whole world in all its splendor. It was you who filled our minds with knowledge of your truth. It was you who gave us wisdom to discern your ways. And so, God, we stand before you today to acknowledge your faithfulness, which has been woven into the joys and challenges of our education. Today, we remember with gratitude those who gave shape to our present understandings, our families, those whom we love. We remember with gratitude our instructors who opened the pathways to knowledge, the students who shared the burdens and joys of learning, the staff who helped us navigate the systems. So filled with these memories, we come to an end of this portion of our lives, grateful, humbled, and at peace. We thank you, God, today and all days until the end of time itself. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Notabart. Please be seated. I would like to recognize members of the President's Cabinet who are here with us today. Please stand as I introduce you. Dr. Timothy Gossen, Vice President for Mission and Student Life. Ms. Audrey Kinsey, Vice President for Development and Alumni Relations. Ms. Ann Merklowitz, JD, Executive Vice President and General Counsel. And Mr. Ben Murray, Vice President for Financial Affairs. Thank you for being with us today. Dr. Sarah Ferguson, the Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs and Academic Dean, will be assisting the President this morning in giving out the diplomas. I'd also like to recognize our faculty, academic staff, program directors, and coordinators, many of whom are sitting here in front of me and in front of you, for your commitment, your professionalism, and dedication to our shared LaSallean educational mission here at the Graduate Schools of the Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs. We all appreciate your work. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Pajak, a member of our St. Mary's University Alumni Board, will offer a word of welcome to the Alumni Association. Mr. Pajak. Good morning, and congratulations to you, the newest graduates of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. I would, be, I would like to be the first to welcome you as the newest members of St. Mary's University Alumni Association. Today, you join a network of more than 43,000 alumni from the undergraduate, graduate, and professional programs. In your professional, and personal lives, you may be amazed at how often you'll cross paths with another St. Mary's alum. And you'll undoubtedly find that St. Mary's alumni share connections that span generations, programs and degrees, and even continents. Welcome to this valuable network. The purpose of the St. Mary's Alumni Association is to grow and strengthen these connections through social, professional, networking, and educational events. And the thread that brings all of us together is our university and all the people 
who make this university special. We hope that you will continue to say, stay connected with St. Mary's. Please know that you are always welcome. We encourage you to continue the per personal and professional friendships that you've made here with your classmates and faculty and staff. We're proud of everything you have accomplished and everything you will accomplish. Please continue to let us know of these successes <coughs> so that we can celebrate with you. Please consider sharing your time and talents with our St. Mary's students. Information regarding future Alumni Association events and other university events can be found online on the Alumni Association website and the Alumni Association Facebook and LinkedIn pages. St. Mary's has been your university. Now it is your alma mater. And there will always be a place here for you. St. Mary's stands for all as a sign of faith, a beacon of hope, and a place of knowledge and the service of love. This can happen because of, a, of the excellent faculty, staff, alumni, and students that make up our university community. Your 43,000 fellow alumni and I wish each of you the best as you go forward. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Thank you very much, Ryan. At this time, we would like to honor two of our graduating students with the Outstanding Graduate Final Paper Award. As part of the conclusion of their degree program, students are required to complete a capstone project. The final paper is the culmination of the capstone. And in the case of doctoral students, the culmination is the dissertation. The faculty members of each program, in consultation with the program director, recommend candidates for this award. The deans select those to be honored with the outstanding final paper or the outstanding dissertation award. I am happy this morning to announce our award recipients and ask them to please come forward to be recognized. Ms. Annie Undas, candidate for the Master of Arts in Counseling and Psychological Services, and Ms. Megan Joy Munson, candidate for the Master of Arts in Marriage and Family Therapy. Each will receive a plaque presented by the president of the university after I read the title of their paper. Ms. Undis. The citation on the plaque reads as follows. St. Mary's University of Minnesota, proudly presents this honor in recognition of your contribution to excellence in scholarship on this day, October 13th, 2018, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Father James P. Burns, IVD, PhD, President. The title of her paper is The Role of the Therapist, Considering Protective and Risk Factors for Mental Health in the LGBTQ plus population. Congratulations on this award. <laughs> Ms. Monson. The citation on the plaque reads as follows. St. Mary's University of Minnesota proudly presents this honor in recognition of your contribution to excellence in scholarship on this day, October 13th, 2018, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Father James P. Burns, IVD, PhD, President. The title of her paper is Wellness in Law Enforcement, the unnamed and unaddressed plight to help the helpers. Congratulations, Ms. Munson. As adult learners who have returned to further your education, your accomplishments take on, it seems to me, 
even greater significance when we consider the many responsibilities each of you has managed in order to complete your education. The time away from family and friends and loved ones, although challenging, I believe will prove its worth in the days and years ahead. At this time, two of today's candidates for graduation will briefly share their reflections with us. I invite Mr. Dinyar Mehta, a candidate for the Master of Arts in Marriage and Family Therapy, to please come forward. You're supposed to wait till he's done. Please, Mr. Mehta. Good morning to you all. Isn't this just an awesome day? I speak on behalf of the 4,700 students in St. Mary's graduate and professional programs, including all of you outstanding graduates from the Health and Human Services program. Fellow graduates, we have made it here today because we have accomplished great things during our tenure at St. Mary's. We have balanced coursework with a full-time career, family life, and other community obligations. We have challenged ourselves to grow, to learn, to adapt, and also to sacrifice. We have experienced immense joy when we earned an A and crushing pain when that presentation did not go quite as well as we had planned. We have done our assignments on the bus or the train, and we have studied late into the night, well after everyone has gone to bed. Our beloveds have loved us through it all, even though we have had to say no to them far more often than we ever would have liked. Patient and loving people, they. <laughs> we know that our St. Mary's degrees have the power to elevate our professional stature while also remaining humble and kind. The power to catalyze transformation in the world and the power to be the positive change that we want to see. We will follow our calling, whether it is to motivate people, to inspire them, and even to help them heal. It is our passionate commitment to our goals and sheer determination that has driven us to this very day and inspires us to go for it and reach for the stars. Our stellar achievements and our vision for a bright future fire our imaginations with hope and with vibrant possibility. Colleagues, I celebrate the motivational example that you have set for all of the future SGPP graduates of St. Mary's. Today, we will hear the word success and its variants a lot. People will crown our academic successes. We will hear that our successful achievements have made our friends, our family, our colleagues so very proud of us. People will wish us a successful career. May this be a positive and continuing theme in our lives while realizing that there always will be ups and downs. Today, I find myself particularly moved to share with you a poem that I have loved and one which has abiding relevance, especially today. What is success? A poem has been attributed to the great American poet, Ralph Waldo Emerson. To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and even endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, 
to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know that even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. And finally, fellow graduates, we did it! <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Mehta, I just have one word for you. Psy D. For free? <laughs> you know, you, you don't have that paper yet. <laughs> I'm very happy to invite our next speaker to come forward, Mr. Yi Song Vang a candidate for the Doctor of Counseling Psychology. Mr. Vang. I'm sure as all as all the graduates here uh, reflect upon their educational journey, it probably feels a bit unreal, just thinking back from the first day you started to this very moment. There's likely a bit of fear and a bit of excitement with the future, which is a good thing because a healthy dosage of both can help drive us forward. It takes a lot of effort and resolve to start something and see through to the end. I remember my first day when I was accepted to the program and thinking to myself, I have no idea I'm gonna pull this off. <laughs> um, what I was reminded of though, was that even though it's my third time through, you know, doctorate and all, was that I wasn't, a, I wasn't truly alone in my journey. There were others in my life that supported me through moral support, financial support, coursework support, and a variety of other kinds of support. I wanna identify that this journey is not just our own, but one that we share with everyone whose lives we have touched and those who have touched our lives. Whether it be parents, siblings, partners, spouses, aunts, uncles, fellow students, professors, and so on. I personally want to say thank you to those who have supported me, uh, especially my wife and my parents. <clears throat> I recognize though that for some, this was more of an independent journey I hope that when you are ready and able, you can help give back to those who follow in your footsteps. I have no question in my mind that when we all work together and we help and support one another, that we are stronger. It truly does take a village to gain higher education. So thank you to everyone who has traveled on this journey that I and my fellow graduates have experienced. I applaud you all. Thank you very much, Mr. Vang. Very soon to be Dr. Vang. <laughs> it is now my distinct honor and personal privilege to introduce to you the president of St. Mary's University of Minnesota, Father James Burns, IVD, PhD, who will offer his remarks. Father Burns. Thank you, brother. My dear graduates and friends, welcome, as you have been welcomed already by so many to this commencement ceremony of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. At this time, I would like to thank all those who had a hand in making this day what it is. All the preparations that have gotten you to this day and all the preparations for this day. We're delighted to see so many of you here and in a very special way to have so many of our faculty with us. On, on the platform, I am so pleased to be joined by so many of the members of our distinguished community 
as well as other members of our Council of Regents and Board of Trustees with us today, and the professors especially who have helped usher our students into this next stage of their lives with graduates. It's a very special day which you of course should all be very proud of. And on behalf of our cabinet, the Board of Trustees, the Regents, deans, faculty, and staff of St. Mary's University, I offer you our heartiest congratulations on this year's graduation day. Regardless of how you arrived at this day, today you are all graduating with so many possibilities before you. Yet the greatest possibility, I would say, is summed up in the Latin motto of the Brothers of the Christian Schools, signum fidei, a sign of faith. You each, as graduates, are a sign of faith and hope to a world that I would also say is in desperate need of witnesses to the greater good, to the good of humanity, and to the greater truth. Truly, the greatest possibility we have exists when focused on the greater glory of our Creator and in service to the good of all that is human. To fully appreciate this call to be of service, it takes time, patience, and perseverance. If we truly pause to think about it, it's very humbling. And indeed, each of you has learned and now can teach us all a lesson in perseverance and humility. It is the endurance and patience of the person who has kept on trying and in doing so forged a new path for him or herself despite obstacles. It is the humility of the person who thinks not what the world owes him or her, but rather asks what greater good can be accomplished through the achievement of my education. It is the sense of hospitality that speaks of respect for self and others and is acted upon in a way that shows what can be accomplished by care and concern for the other through hard work and commitment devoted to seeking the truth in all things. Which reminds me of a kind of small story about one of the greatest men of our country. There was a time when a man on horseback came across a few soldiers who were trying to move a heavy log of wood without much success, try as they might. And it just so happened that their corporal was standing by just watching as these men struggled to move this log. The rider was in stunned amazement. He couldn't believe it. He finally asked the corporal why he wasn't helping. And the corporal replied, I'm the corporal. I give the orders. The rider said nothing in response. Instead, he dismounted his horse. He went over. And standing with the soldiers, he helped them as they tried to lift that piece of wood. And with his help, the task was finally able to be carried out. As he prepared to leave, they wondered, who was that kind rider? The rider was none other than George Washington, the commander in chief, who then proceeded to quietly mount his horse and walked it over to the corporal and said, the next time your men need help, send for the commander in chief. He's not beneath any work. The example of Washington stands as a reminder to each of us of what can be accomplished when we work together and no one assumes that what they do or what others do is beneath them. No one thinks that it is someone else's job. You may find yourself in any number of situations in which it doesn't seem like what you're doing matters or that you should have to do it. However, I would submit that if you do all you do with quiet dignity, humility, and self-respect, you will have more on your side than any position, supervisor, or money can account for. You will have your personal human dignity, and you will have shown yourself to be truly worthy of the amazing St. Mary's LaSallean and Catholic education that you are receiving today. You will be on the side, I would say, of the angels. When you offer yourself in this way, you continue to show that you are a person who can successfully adapt, and adjust to all sorts of environments. In fact, your undergraduate or graduate degrees, which many of you had to complete on part-time basis due to many other demands on your time and attention, demonstrate a deliberate, patient, determined, dedicated focus on your goals and show the utilization of your life skills, not the least of which is humility and self-respect. Many of you know better than us that you had to put a variety of things on hold in order to manage school, work, and family. And this was something no one could teach you how to do. You had to live it. 
You had to learn it for yourself, and you did it. You may have asked yourself at various times during your studies, is this the right move, or is this really worth it? But because you persevered, you alone can answer affirmatively those questions and say, yes, this was the right move. Yes, indeed, it was worth it. One of the other exceptional things about the St. Mary's student, whether you are someone returning to school after years away, a single parent, a business professional, a groundskeeper, food service, or catering personnel, newly immigrated person to this country, first generation graduates or undergraduates, students of any of the other categories that our students fall into, is that despite all the pressures and strains of life, you found out more clearly than you would have known before that you were never alone. Whether you needed the assistance and support of your classmates, the faculty, or the student services and advising at St. Mary's, you realized that these individuals were readily available to help and cared about you. And perhaps even more than anyone else, you experienced firsthand what it is like to be the recipient of care and concern from spouses, partners, parents, brothers and sisters, friends, and even children. As they were there for you, now you are asked, as someone called to serve together and by association, to take all that good that has been offered to you and pass it on by giving your degree to the world in service, to make the world better, to make it all that only you and you alone can make of it. Because some, many were part of getting you to this day, I would like to ask that all of our graduates please rise, please rise, turn around, turn around, and face your family and friends, and you show them your appreciation by giving them your applause. <laughs> wonderful, you can be seated. What a wonderful thing to see so many smiling faces, so much hard work together. In addition to acknowledging these supportive and thoughtful individuals who make up your family and friends, on behalf of the entire St. Mary's University community, I would also like to recognize in a special way our faculty and staff. Join me, please. Today, each of you presents him or herself for a degree Having now achieved a milestone, you completed a significant goal for which you can be rightfully proud. Your degree bears witness to this. Seeing our graduates and celebrating them as we do today, we are more convinced than ever that the mission of St. Mary's University of Minnesota is being achieved, and so we remain constant in pursuing this goal while seeking to grow in the spirit of De La Salle, to provide learners with the total collegiate or graduate experience so they can come to know for themselves through the pursuit of knowledge with an appreciation for a variety of cultural interests and by becoming well-informed citizens of the world, what a deep sense of obligation they now have to serve the local and global community and thus truly become men and women who together and by association change the world for the good. This is a joyous occasion for our graduates and all of us take pride in your success. On my part, I pray that God's blessings may shine upon the sacrifices you have all shared in, giving you renewed courage and faith to accept the challenge of the many opportunities that lie ahead. My hope is that you continue to keep in touch with us here at St. Mary's in the years to come, and may God bless you, and may your accomplishments at St. Mary's be but the beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much, Father Burns. I need to go off script for about 30 seconds. You heard Father Burns talk about the commander in chief, George Washington. Many of you know this, some of you might not, that Father Burns, of course, as president, is our commander in chief, and he is the 14th such commander in chief in 106 years at St. Mary's University, and he has been in his office just about three and a half months. Welcome aboard. So this is his first graduation day for St. Mary's, and you all are his first group of graduates. So 
It is a singular moment in the history of your lives and his life and of St. Mary's University. Please don't forget it. We have now arrived at the moment, the moment each of you has been anticipating since you began your studies with us. That is the conferral of your degree. The awarding process will unfold in the following manner. Degree candidates will be invited by row to stand. You will be asked to move forward to the hooding area to be hooded by the director of your degree program. When your name is called, please proceed to the stage to receive your diploma from the president. We have arranged for a professional photographer to photograph the graduates as they receive their diploma. I therefore ask friends and families to please refrain from coming forward to take photographs so as to prevent congestion and obstructing the view of the audience. There will be ample opportunity to take photos at the reception upstairs, which immediately follows this ceremony. Thank you for your consideration and cooperation. Candidates this morning for graduation will be called forward by the Dean of Sciences and Health Professions, Dr. Todd Reinhardt. Dr. Reinhardt. The candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Healthcare and Human Services Management are as follows. Fode Vawusu Donzo. <laughs> Cherish Sonia Gibson. Rebecca Gallagher Grundhofer. <laughs> Jillian Don Mahold. Sorry. Tazvitya Archibald Makayi. Jarrett William Manson. Fatima Abyan Mohammed. Kevin J. Mulligan. The candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Psychology are Noel Crystal Dieter. Samantha Ray Hughes. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Counseling and Psychological Services are Rima Diane Ali. <laughs> Bincy Davis. Erin <laughs> Elizabeth Kelly Dew. <laughs> Katie Elise Engelking. Lori L. Geyser. <laughs> Taylor Page Harmon. <laughs> Taya Lee Hofstead. <laughs> Kelly Jean Hollingsworth. Madeline R. Kuplich. Amanda Beth Lindy. Jennifer Ann Lingwall. Brooke Elizabeth McCall. Nuale McKeetron.
Hannah Elise Martin. Jennifer Palman. Shane Potter. Sarah Louise Provo. Amber Rose Ramsey. Brooke Riches. Allison Sean. Graham Smith. Brittany K. Steer. Jamie Christine Sufflow. Annie Undis. Ariana Verrett. Alma Lorena Villasnor. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Health and Human Services Administration are as follows. Shanice Latoy Abrams. <laughs> Lena Alsale. Deborah Anu Oluwapo Ashamu. Lauren Jeanette Baker. <coughs> Amy Valoy Boyer. <laughs> Catherine Susan Casey. <laughs> Connie Craddick. <laughs> Tammy Lynn Danielson. Mohammed Saleh Egal. Casey L. Erickson. Stephanie Marie Holden. Nelson Andrew Howe. Elena Mano Kane. Ryan James Carsons. Travis Scott Lindbergh. Wendy Merrick Sparts. Pahua Morschbacher. Fiona Sharice Percy. Sarah Ann Phillips. Rose T. Pratt. Shiwa Rao. Anna Marie Reefer. Beth Ann Schneider. Hima Rasish Shah. Oluwashian Oluoku Unula Shedunke. Cindy Vang. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Marriage and Family Therapy are as follows. Stephanie Marie Albrecht. Woo! 
Lori Ann Alford. Claire Therese Anderson. Natalie Rose Burrell. Mary Colucci. Jessica S. Connors. Sonchi Davies. Allison Devney. Kimberly Lynn Diepenbrock. Tu Tram Don. Benjamin Doctor. Emma Terry Edwins. Oluremi Erku. Crystal Esparza. Bailey Marie Fisher. Alexandra Mariah Forbes. Sarah Elise Frankfurt. Lee Christine Ferndeck. Lydia Hanna. Leah Marie Jackson. Melissa Lee Jacobson. Leah Johnson. <laughs> Jumana Jubran. <laughs> Jennifer Allen Yang Kun Kim Ardekani. <laughs> Wadi Alicia Kolenki. David J. Lampert. <laughs> Bailey Sue Marmish. <laughs> Lauren McKenzie Martin. <laughs> Sonia Mehran. <laughs> Lauren Hildegard Mini. Dinyar Mehta. <laughs> Megan Lynn Millison. <coughs> Megan Joy Munson. <laughs> Michelle Nanette Morton. Jeannie M. Mulhern. Blake A. Murray. Caitlin Wen. Allison Adeline Palmarui. Annika Polins. Kyla Reinholdson. Brandy Elizabeth Runod.
That's Aaron Rene. <laughs> Hannah Williams Rothausen. <laughs> Anna D. Scanlon. <laughs> Miranda Michelle Schlangen. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Scholand. Brianna Ray Snoddy. <laughs> Megan Lee St. Amand. <laughs> Emily Steidel. <laughs> Hannah Subashich Sullivan. Corin Ann Sundel. <laughs> Laxi Tao. <laughs> Stanley Farrell Thiel. <laughs> Christopher Weiser. The candidates for the Master of Arts in Counseling and Psychological Services and Graduate Certificate in Addiction Studies are as follows. Mindy Greedel. <laughs> Carolyn Nasozi Senungi. <laughs> the candidates for the Doctor of Psychology in Counseling Psychology are as follows. David Robert Darris, <laughs> candidate of the Doctor of Psychology and Counseling Psychology dissertation titled Mindfulness and Cognitive Flexibility as Predictors of Dispositional Flow in Combat Sport Fighters, to be hooded by advisor Larray Jomi. Congratulations, David. <laughs> Janet F L. Finlayson, candidate of the Doctor of Psychology and Counseling Psychology dissertation titled Bullying as a risk factor for suicide among Minnesota youth to be hooded by advisor, Dr. Kenneth Solberg. Congratulations, Janet. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie Fleming, <laughs> candidate of the Doctorate of Psychology and Counseling Psychology, dissertation titled, Predictors of Psychological Well-Being Among Significant Others of TBI Survivors, to be hooded by advisor, Ray Jomi. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Rachel M. Freiberger, candidate of the Doctor of Psychology and Counseling Psychology, dissertation titled, Intimate Partner Violence and Incarceration, a Psychoeducational Group Manual for Women, to be hooded by advisor Andrew John. Congratulations, Rachel. <laughs> Danielle Marie Huber, Candidate of the Doctor of Psychology and Counseling Psychology, dissertation titled, Predicting Treatment Outcomes with the MMPI 2RF, to be hooded by advisor Kenneth Solberg. Congratulations, Danielle. <laughs> Kristen Ann Johnson, candidate of the Doctor of Psychology and Counseling Psychology. Dissertation titled, Changes in Interoceptive Awareness Through Trauma Center, Trauma Sensitive Yoga, TCTSY. To be hooded by advisor, Dr. Andrew John. Congratulations, Kristen. <laughs> Lisa Marie Moen, candidate of the Doctorate of Psychology and Counseling Psychology. Dissertation titled, the lived experience of a sense of purpose among elders. To be hooded by advisor, Dr. Signe Nestigan. Congratulations, Lisa. <laughs> and Yi Zong Vang, candidate of the Doctorate of Psychology and Counseling Psychology, dissertation titled, Factors Affecting Hmong Graduate Students Pursuing Mental Health Degrees. To be hooded by advisor, Dr. Signe Nestigan. Congratulations, Yizong.
Thank you, Dr. Reinhardt, program directors, Hooders, and Student Central team for your assistance this morning. Will all the candidates for graduation please stand? Not yet. <laughs> President Burns, upon the recommendation of the faculty, deans, program directors, and administration of the schools of graduate and professional programs, and with the approval of the Board of Trustees, I present to you for your approval candidates for bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees on this day, October 13, 2018, the 229th year since the founding of the Republic and the 106th year since the founding of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Do you accept? Congratulations, one and all. I invite all who are able to please stand. Father James Notabart, our campus chaplain, will offer our benediction. Please stand as you are able. God, our creator, it is time now to take leave of this assembly. We form our final thoughts at this commencement as we part with our fellow students, instructors, and those who helped us in this journey. We know that the joy of this moment is marked by the challenges lying ahead of us tomorrow. So we look to the future, equipped with the tools of wisdom and understanding, with charity and justice, with a concern for equality and a peaceable kingdom. These things have been instilled in our hearts, and we know, God, that you are our hope. Only there will the efforts of our humanity find true expression. Help us, then, God, to be of service in building the new world where justice may flourish in the hearts of all. Let this day that marks our graduation stand before all as a witness to what you, God, have done. Blessed are you, God, of all nations and all peoples. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Notabart. I ask that you remain standing. At this time, members of the staff of the Schools of Graduate and Professional Programs will lead us in the St. Mary's Alma Mater. They will sing the first verse, and I invite you to join on the second and third verses. You can find the Alma Mater on the last page of your program. St. Mary's alma mater, hail St. Mary's mother true. Every faithful son and daughter lives this anthem now to you. Ave, Ave, Thought and spirit that is. 
and of the cell's community. Send us out forever teaching love and faith and unity. Come on, give it up for these women. Thank you very much, Lynn, Cheryl, Daniela, Caitlin, and Becky. I also want to take a moment to thank Victory Park Brass for their musical contributions to our ceremony. Thank you for being with us. I also want to take a moment to thank the 30 or 40 St. Mary's University staff members who have worked for the last week or 10 days to make this ceremony go flawlessly. They are all over this building. Thank them with me. I ask that the graduates and faculty and stage party to remain standing and I invite our other guests to be seated. I promise you it's the last time. On behalf of the faculty, administration, regents, and trustees of the university, I congratulate each and all of our graduates. We wish you good health and much success and happiness in your life and in your work. To facilitate our exit, I ask our guests to remain seated until the stage party, faculty, and graduates have left the auditorium. There will be an opportunity to informally greet the graduates at a reception on the second floor of this building. I ask you to exit the auditorium through the doors on your right. This concludes our commencement ceremony. Again, congratulations and best wishes from all of us to all of you, graduates, families, and friends of St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Good morning.
Thank you.